Hi, I'm Sissy Jones. I'd like to share my story about having cancer. Now, I'm thankful for JRMC and all the doctors, nurses, and everyone that touched my life during this time. But you see, I was 75 years old, busy, been working 20 hours a day a lot of days. I was going to California and felt this not. So I had Amy Cahill check it, did a bobs, and I went on. Friday morning, she calls and says, well, Sissy, um, uh, you uh, have an indecisive night. We don't know what it is. I said, what does that mean? She says, well, when you come back, we'll talk about it. Well, we did. I got back. Next thing I know, uh, she found out uh, what it was. They had some more tests done. Sent me to Dr. Forrestier. Anyway, he came in and he said, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you have triple negative breast cancer. And well, that's what we're almost sure it is, and it's not good. When Dr. Forster told us, it was a shock, of course, to me and to everyone. And that's when I saw Murphy and Ginger uh, get very, very distraught. And I just looked at him and I said, why are you distraught? We built all of our stores on Proverbs 20, 24 with the Lord directing us. He's directing us now. There's a reason for this and we'll just get through it. You know that we can do that. After I left Forrestier's office, and he looked at me and the children did, I said, we better call Bill. Well, we called him on the phone and shouldn't have done that, but we did. And uh, he said, okay. So he picks the phone up and he calls and finds out about the triple negative breast cancer. And of course, it depends on the stage you're in and all this, well, mine wasn't too good. So he called Boston University, which is a research center for this type of cancer. Now, they don't have a cure for it, you see, and we knew that. So he called and asked this receptionist, could he please speak to the doctor who was in charge of the experimentation. Can you believe that they took his call? The doctor came to the phone, and Bill already had a plane on the runway to take me, so he hung up and said, Mother, I've got an appointment at Boston University right now. I've got the plane ready. I want you to get a few things. I'm picking you up, and we're going. I said, no, Bill. I'm not going anywhere. You see, the love and the treatment I have gotten at Jefferson so far in my life couldn't be beat. And I'm going to go where my friends are and I can have this support system. And I know the doctors real well and I feel comfortable here. And that means a lot, you see, when you have cancer. And he said, Mother, do you understand he can cure this? I said, no, he can't. There's no cure. So I'm sitting right here with the best doctors I can possibly get. I trust them. I know them. And they love me too. So this is where I'm going to be, Bill, but thank you for trying. Little did he know I was going to the head doctor, Dr. T, who he and his nurse, Kelly, have actually carried me on a pillow through this whole entire thing, like the other doctors that I went to there. But I was very sick and I was really not supposed to make it. And I got to the point several times when I almost didn't make it, but I did make it. You see, I made it because of the caring and the sharing and the nurses that cared. Say what you may, but I'm gonna tell you, if I had it to do over again, which I hope I don't, but if I do, I'll be back at Jefferson Hospital because that's where I wanna go because they have what it takes to make you feel at home, cure you, and let the love flow.